I joined Webflow back in June of 2018. And before that time, I was a freelance web designer building websites in Wix and WordPress. And up to that point, I had never made more than $941 in a single month. Now, when I found Webflow, I thought this was just another cool design tool. But what I didn't realize is that Webflow would become the catalyst that would launch my career from making $900 a month to $9,000 a month to $35,000 a month and beyond. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to niche down using Webflow, which is going to make it easier to find clients and charge more for your work. I'm gonna show you everything that it takes to become a certified Webflow expert, which is going to get you high quality leads directly to your inbox almost every single week. I'm gonna show you how to market yourself as a Webflow specific designer and then if you stick around till the end of this video, I'm gonna show you a couple specific examples of portfolios from Webflow specific designers and how they're utilizing those portfolios to absolutely kill it as freelancers. So let's dive into it. So if you're not familiar with what a niche is, a niche is a specialized segment of the market for a particular kind of product or service. So instead of you trying to capture leads from the entire web design industry, you're gonna carve out your own little segment that's going to become yours and it's gonna be way easier to get noticed, it's gonna be way easier to stand out and you're not going to have to do so much convincing and selling to get people to hire you for your web design services. Now some people think that it's best to niche down by an industry. So for example, maybe you are a web designer for dentists or you're a web designer for pest control companies. But I have found that it's even more effective to niche down using a specific tool. Now you're probably thinking right now, well Peyton, if I niche down too much, I'm gonna be missing out on all of these leads from the general web design industry. And so what I would ask you is, are you getting enough general web design leads? Because if you are, you might not need this video, but if you're not where you wanna be, and it seems really difficult and really competitive to find new clients, then niching down could be exactly what you need. Now, when I say niching down, really what this means is you are just adjusting your messaging and your approach. So as a generalist, your messaging might have been, I design websites for businesses, which is extremely generalized and it doesn't stand out at all. But now as you niche down using Webflow, your message is going to be something like, I design and develop Webflow websites. This is way more specific. And while it might not catch the attention of the general population needing a website, it is going to catch the attention of people specifically looking to have a Webflow website built. Now, the crazy thing is this population of people needing a Webflow website is growing so rapidly that this is by far the best opportunity to get these types of leads that are already primed and they're already prepared to hire you and pay you a reasonable rate for your services. So your target is no longer just anyone that needs a website, it is only people that need a Webflow website. Now this is going to make a huge difference when trying to convince these clients to hire you because up to this point, you've been spending all of your time convincing clients why they should use Webflow because maybe they haven't even heard of it. And so you're convincing them not only to hire you, but you're convincing them to use a tool that they're not familiar with. But if you niche down with Webflow, these leads are going to come to you already knowing what they want. You don't have to sell them on the product. You don't have to sell them on the tool. And by showing that you are a Webflow specific designer, it's gonna be a lot easier to sell them on yourself because you already seem like a more specialized option for exactly what they need. And finally, one of the biggest benefits of moving away from being a generalist is you're gonna get paid way more. In the general web design market, it typically is a race to the bottom, meaning that people want the cheapest option. And there are designers all across the world that are willing to offer web design services for a few hundred dollars. But in the Webflow industry, clients typically know that a Webflow website is higher quality and there's more perceived value in a Webflow website. So people are going to come to you expecting to pay more and more often than not, they're not going to be trying to price shop. They're going to be looking for the best solution. So now I wanna talk about what it takes for you to become a Webflow expert. So if you go to experts.webflow.com backslash apply, you can see all of the qualifications that are necessary in order for you to become a certified Webflow expert. So in order to become a professional partner, you need to take the Webflow experts course. 
This is a free course offered by Webflow, and once you finish the course, you need to pass the Webflow University certification exams. Once you pass these exams, you're officially certified. Then, you need a minimum of three customer projects, and you need a Webflow partner page, which is a landing page on your website showcasing your Webflow services that you offer. So it doesn't take a whole lot for you to become a Webflow expert. Once you are, there are a ton of benefits. First and foremost, is that coveted Webflow Experts or Webflow Professional Partners badge that goes on your website. People that are looking for Webflow services are almost always going to look for this badge to make sure that you are an expert. And the best part is you get your own Webflow Experts listing, meaning that you're gonna show up in the Webflow Experts directory. It's going to highlight you, your work, and it's going to direct people to your website and this is where you're gonna get most of your leads. My experts profile has provided me so many high quality leads, and I would say probably 60 to 70% of my best clients have come from the Webflow Experts program because they find me, they're able to see pictures of me and my work, they're able to read about the different services that I offer, and then they can click hire me right here on my experts page, and go through the process of explaining their project, and then we can hop on a Zoom call. And so this is a fantastic way for you to get leads that know exactly what they want, they already know who you are, and it completely changes the frame because you're no longer reaching out to these clients as someone that needs work, but instead they're coming to you as an expert needing your expertise and your help on their project. So by becoming a Webflow expert, not only does this validate what you do and builds a ton of trust in the marketplace, but it also is going to drive free leads for you. And so there's no reason for you to not try to become a Webflow expert today. So now I wanna talk about marketing yourself as a Webflow expert. And to illustrate this, I wanted to show you two screenshots. The first screenshot here is showing the search volume and the keyword difficulty to rank on Google for keywords like web design, web design company, and web design agency. So you can see that there is a ton of traffic, right? 74,000 searches a month, 22,000 searches a month. But the unfortunate part is for you to get any sort of traction and traffic for these keywords, you are competing with the entire world of web designers. And you can see here that the difficulty is going to be as hard as it could possibly be. So instead of trying to be a generalist and competing against everyone, why not try to rank for a term like Webflow Web Design Agency? Yes, there's only 40 searches for this specific keyword every month, but the keyword difficulty is very easy, meaning that you're gonna get more traction and more traffic. And I don't know about you, but I would rather have 100% of 40 potential clients over 0% of 74,000 clients. And so it's a no-brainer. Niching down is going to put you in a smaller marketplace, but it's gonna be way less competitive and people are gonna find you much easier. Now, there are a number of different ways that you can market yourself outside of just SEO and trying to rank for these keywords. Of course, you're gonna be getting leads directly from your expert's profile, but you're also going to be able to change your messaging to be Webflow specific on all of your social media platforms. Now, some of the best platforms to find new clients are YouTube, LinkedIn, and Twitter. These seem to be fantastic places to share your work and to connect with other people that are looking for a Webflow designer. The other opportunity that a lot of Webflow designers don't think about is offering additional services to people already using Webflow. So you could offer monthly maintenance, you could offer page updates, you could offer a site refresh, you could offer to help with interactions, you could offer to clean up their CSS because oftentimes it's going to be really messy and difficult for them to update their site. And you could also help them navigate the process of other integrations that work within Webflow like MemberStack and Zapier and the list goes on and on. Now for me, my specific niche within Webflow is Webflow SEO and so we offer SEO only two people that have a website built in Webflow. And this has been a fantastic place for us to position ourselves because there's not really many other people that do this. So even if you don't know a thing about SEO, you could start offering minimal SEO services. And one thing that you could do is go on over to semflow.com and use this plugin that works inside of Webflow to audit and improve your clients' websites. This is going to walk you through the entire on-page SEO process and you could be charging hundreds and even thousands of dollars per client just to use this plugin on their website. So if you haven't tried SEMflow already, go over to SEMflow.com, sign up for a free seven-day trial, and right there you have a new service to offer to your Webflow clients.
So to finish up, I want to share with you three portfolios that are for Webflow specific designers. These are designers that are absolutely killing it in this niche. And I'm going to show you what they've done with their messaging and their website to help them succeed inside this niche. So the first one that I want to share is Studio Corvus. And you can see from his experts listing, he really focuses on being the face of his company, right? You see exactly who you're going to work with and having a personal touch on your portfolio website is going to help drastically because people are going to feel more comfortable with who it is that they're working with. So when you open this website right off the bat, it says I design and develop Webflow websites. So the messaging is very specific to Webflow. If somebody lands on this site, they're going to know that they're in the right place. I love the videos in the background that show his face, show what he's doing, shows him working. It's going to make people feel more comfortable knowing who they're going to work with. And it already makes them feel like they trust you. Now, as we scroll down, it's going to highlight a couple things that make this freelancer a trustworthy Webflow expert. 10 plus years experience, six years as a Webflow partner, and he's a one man army. Now, I love the very personalized feel from this website. Right here, it's going to introduce him as Rowan. Now, Rowan is going to spend the rest of his site not only sharing his work, but making you feel more comfortable with him as a person and as a partner. So as we scroll down, you're going to have an FAQ section, and then we've got a couple of quotes or testimonials from past clients. This is a great way to build social proof and to show people that you do a fantastic work because you've done it before with your other clients. So overall, I love the personalized approach of this portfolio, and it doesn't take a whole lot to position yourself and show people once they land on your website that you are the Webflow expert that they're looking for. Now, the next one that I want to focus on is called Loudface. This is an agency, and the first thing that I want to mention is their single image here for their experts profile is fantastic. It's got their main value proposition, which is moving businesses faster with Webflow. It shows a couple of their past client logos, which builds trust. And then they've got a couple screenshots of some of their work. Now, if we click through to their website, their website's awesome. I love the noisy gradient in the background. I love these conversation blocks that pop up that show you how easy it's going to be to communicate with them. And right here in their main heading, it says number one Webflow and marketing agency. So again, right up front, they're stating that they are a Webflow agency and nothing else. Now, it doesn't matter if you're an agency and have a team or if you're a solo freelancer, telling people that you are the Webflow expert is going to confirm to people that they're in the right place. Now they've got their professional partner badge right here to the right, which again is a great way to build trust. And as we scroll down, their website is just super engaging. It states what they do, website advertising, hyper growth X. Scrolling down, again, we've got a couple of data points that are going to build more trust. Five plus years in the business, seven plus countries served, 11 industries served, and 50 plus happy clients. We've got some client logos as we scroll down further, and then we get down to a couple screenshots of their work. So in the first half of their website, they've told you what they do, they've built trust, they've ensured you that it's easy to work with them and communicate with them, and they showed you screenshots of their work. And there's really nothing else that you need to show people in order to get them to click through and book a call with you. Now, the last one that I want to share with you is flow out. Again, I love the image that they used highlighting a variety of different types of work that they've done in Webflow. And if we click through to their website, you're going to see it says unlimited Webflow design and development subscription service. And so this is a unique take on how they're offering these services. I love that they have their clutch reviews up here. Their call to action is get a demo or see pricing everything from their imagery to their messaging and their content all is specific to Webflow. They've done a great job of building trust by adding recognizable logos. They've got some animated images that again are Webflow specific, showing the different service packages that they offer. And they've got a ton of fantastic testimonials and reviews to continue to build that social proof. They did a fantastic job showing some of their client work down here. You can click through to these and check out the entire case study. And you can see that they've done some pretty big projects for companies like Jasper. And at the bottom of their website, they have a really powerful call to action, which says grow rapidly with unlimited Webflow design and development. Now, while these portfolios do look really nice and polished, I think these are great examples showing you that it does not take a lot to position yourself as a Webflow expert. All you need to do is slightly tweak your content and your imagery and your target audience. Now, if you're a Webflow designer looking for ways to level up your skills, looking for new fantastic tools to integrate into your processes to get paid more as a designer, 
then click that subscribe button below because I've got new videos like this one coming out almost every single day. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button as well. That really helps me out. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.